Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm Elizabeth and I'm back with another video. So in this video, I'm gonna rant a little bit because I don't know why I just got annoyed. I always get annoyed when I see topics like this pop up on my timeline. But um, yeah, so I, I came across um, a post on Instagram and it was posted by It's On Site. And the headline of the post says black woman says it's time for black people to move on from being offended about blackface claims it's equivalent to someone calling you a poo poo head so i'm gonna um play the video then i'm gonna speak on it okay let me unmute it okay and any nonsense going on in america Two students were just awarded $1 million after they were falsely accused of wearing blackface and then kicked out of a California Catholic school. Let's get right to the point. It's time that America move on from blackface, and I mean being offended by it. That is the equivalent of somebody calling you a poo-poo head. It's not a real issue. It's not actual government corruption or oppression. It's also very hypocritical of Democrats and people on the left to tell everybody to focus on the real issues, to focus on the quote unquote genocide happening in Israel. Well, how about you focus on American issues that are happening right now and stop freaking out about stuff like blackface that doesn't actually affect black Americans in a real way in a modern world. One day you might not be able to afford your Wi-Fi if you keep voting for Biden and then you won't be able to complain about blackface. Mm. So that's the video. Let me just say, I agree with her 100%. And I was surprised by the comments. I thought, you know, other people were going to agree with her too, but it's people like literally dragging her in the comments. And I'm like, I don't see what she said wrong. All she said was black people need to stop getting offended by blackface. And I, I've been saying this, like, I don't know why black people still in 20 2024 are still getting triggered by other races doing silly stuff like that like it just doesn't make any sense to me i just feel like black people it's time we reevaluate what's important reevaluate what we give our time and energy to not everything needs to be ad addressed not everything needs a reaction not every battle needs to be fought and I feel like that's um, very important. Not every battle needs to be fought. We need to pick and choose our battles wisely. I don't think that um, there are so many things we can get mad at, but I don't think blackface is something that we should even care. Like it shouldn't even be like a thing. Like it shouldn't even like it shouldn't even exist. And I didn't even know like this. People were even still like even being outraged and stuff like this because I've been kind of like away from entertainment news for the last six months. But um, when I came across that post and I seen the comments of um, like pretty much everybody in the comments disagreeing with her, I was like really surprised because I didn't, I don't see what she was saying wrong. When she said um, blackface, being mad at blackface is like equivalent to like somebody calling you poo poo head. Like and that's how it is. I feel like when, when I see um, black people getting outraged, I just feel like it reminds me of like elementary school, like when you're going back and forth with somebody in the playground and somebody calls you stupid and they be like, no, your mama's stupid. Like it gives me those type of vibes. It's like, why are you even getting mad at stuff like that? I feel like name calling and stuff like that. I feel like it's okay for a child to get mad, but I feel like as an adult, like, you need to have some kind of um, emotional maturity. And I feel like I can't even be mad at black people. I feel like I blame the media because they put out this narrative to make us feel like we're like less than or like we're oppressed, but we're really not oppressed. And I know me saying that may trigger a lot of people, but we're, we're really not oppressed. If you look at black people in America compared to like black people anywhere else black people are like lit here like we're like on top of the world like being black in america is a flex and it's sad that a lot of people a lot of black people still don't even realize and i feel like you're being robbed of like you're like you're being robbed of like the opportunity to really enjoy 
living in America because you're wasting your years thinking you're oppressed when really you're not oppressed. Like, if you look around, like, you're not oppressed. Like, name one thing that a black person can't do that another person can do. Like, we can do the same thing that everybody else can do, if not better. You know what I mean? Like, so don't even, like, get caught up in, like, those narratives that like we're oppressed and we're not oppressed like somebody in the comment please comments please tell me like tell me how we are oppressed because we're not it's time we really know our worth and not just you know use the hashtag black lives matter it's time that we know we matter it's like we try to get everybody else to believe or we get everybody else to um we try to convince everybody else that we matter, but it's like, do we know we matter? And that's what's important. Do you know you matter? Do you know your worth? Because if you knew your worth, I promise you, you wouldn't even come off the throne to even address peasants. And the reason why I said peasants, because if somebody wants to like put mud on their face to try to like tease you or like try to trigger some kind of reaction out of you, you are a peasant. And people like that should not even be addressed because it's like, if I seen a person, like if I went outside and seen a person um, with black face, I don't, first of all, I don't even think I would even um, notice the person because I'd be in my own world. I'm a celebrity in my own world, so I don't even notice people around me. But if I happen to notice you and your face is covered in mud, I'm going to like, I'm going to like, if anything, I'm going to be concerned. I'm like, you look silly, not me. In no reality am I going to, like, ever be offended. In no reality are you ever going to hurt my feelings. You're never going to make me cry. Because why would I, like, how would that, how does that affect my life? I'm not losing no money. You're not hurting me. Like, you're not taking anything away from me. You can dress up how you want to address. You can dress how you want to dress. Like, I'm so secure in who I am. I'm comfortable in my skin. So, what other people do does not really affect me. And I feel the same way with the N-word. I feel like I don't think people should really care about people using the N-word. And I know you guys are probably going to be like, oh, well, it's disrespectful. And and I know that I, like, I realize that people have negative intentions when they use the word. But still, at the same time, like, it's not affecting me. Like, if you're not going to put your hands on me, like, what are we really even talking about? And I feel like slavery is over. I feel like the only thing they can control, people can control, is your mind. They can't control anything else. Not even really your mind, your emotions. That's the only thing they can control. And people like that, they wear a black face and these silly little people, racist people that try to get under your skin, they know that. They are aware of that. They know. They have no power. They're powerless, like, probably broke to have no money. So they know, okay, cool, like, the only power I have is over their emotions. So let me dress up, put mud on my face, and try to trigger a black person. And now they feel powerful. That's the only power they have is getting you triggered. And once you really become aware of that, you're not even really, like, you're not even really concerned. And I feel like once you become really comfortable in your skin and stop viewing yourself as inferior, a lot of that stuff is not going to get you mad. You got to, like, like, reprogram your mind. You're not inferior. They're not superior at all to you. Like, you got to really understand that. And I think a lot of black people, and that's the issue, y'all view yourselves as beneath them. You have to, because that's the only way you would get mad if somebody calls you a name, is if in your mind you view yourself as beneath them. Mm, I'm not beneath anybody, so I don't know about you, but you're not about to trigger me. Like, like I said before, like I don't even see you. Like, be happy if I even acknowledge you or even notice you. Like, when I'm out in the world, like, I'm on my celebrity vibes, like I'm in my own world. So like, be happy if I even notice you even walking down the street. I promise you, I don't even see you. And I feel like that's where like all black people need to get to that point to where like, 
we stop feeling so beneath people we stop feeling so little like i don't know we gotta stop being so insecure like it's not a good look i feel like we came so far and i feel like black people i don't even know why we even feel insecure in the first place like black people are so talented so good looking like black people excel in like everything that we do so y'all would let like a little dirty dingy broke white person that wants to put mud on their face trigger you are you kidding me like that's crazy i just feel like as black people we need to be aware of the mental games that white people not all white people but the the mental games that some white people like to play they know they don't have no power over you. You can't tell me what to do. You can't control my money. You can, I guess you can control my emotions. So they play little games like that. I feel like once we're aware of that, you're not even going to really even be like triggered. Like if somebody calls you a name, you're going to call them a name right back. Like if I'm walking down the street and somebody calls me the N-word, I'm going to call you a name right back. You better know how to roast. Like I grew up in a household... My brothers, they knew how to roast, so I got I have tough skin. So if you hurt my, you think you about to hurt my feelings, I'ma hurt your feelings before you hurt my feelings. So, and that's the advice I'ma give to my kids. Like if my kids came home saying um, some white kid or some other race kids tease them or call them, call them a name or call them an M word, I'ma have a whole list of jokes. I'm like, okay, say this. Say that, say that. Like, no, we not doing no protest. Ain't nobody crying over here. Like, no, like, mm -mm, we're not doing that. But yeah, um, that's it really. I just wanted to come on here and rant a little bit because I was a little triggered and I don't really get triggered like that. Seeing black people trigger triggers me. So yeah, but yeah, um, I just hope one day, you know, <laughs> we get past being offended. And we learn how to, like, return that same energy. If somebody wants to be silly, play dumb games, okay, cool. I'm going to be silly right back. Like, you know, I'm not about to be out here crying, though. But, yeah, I will return that energy right back to you. And it is what it is. But, all right, y'all, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I am out of here. Peace.